I look fucking cool. It's okay. It's cool. I look cool. Hello, and due to diminishing attention spans, we are going to tell you immediately what you are going to get in this video slash podcast. And there's timestamps, so do yourself a favor and at least check them out. Today, we are going to be answering the question, what lingerie would make you specifically the hottest? Yes, you heard that right. You're going to get real advice from a real boudoir photographer about picking the right lingerie for you. Before we get to that, I want to ask you to commit to this podcast. Do yourself a favor and listen to the whole thing. By committing to this podcast, you will spice up the relationship that you have with your body and friends. We all need that. At the end, we will also discuss very specific things for seeking out the best lingerie looks for you. So, and like I said, if that's all you want, there are timestamps below. I have created the premium wardrobe guide to ensure that you look and feel your hottest regardless of your body shape, body style, and whether you're posing for the mirror, the camera, or the partner, you will be confident in your pics, I promise. I watch some of the most influential YouTube videos. <laughs> that sounds so stupid to say it out loud. I watch some of the most influential YouTube videos that showed up when I searched how to pick the best lingerie. Here are some of the highly varied advice that you will get upon searching for how to pick the best lingerie. Topics include what lingerie do men think is the sexiest, how to pick the best lingerie for your body type, essential underwear and the queen of keyboard loading, the best lingerie for your body shape, lingerie for your body type, how to select right lingerie, question mark. And we're going to go into all of these <laughs> to discuss some of the advice that I found that is the most common if you're looking for this information on YouTube. Even some practical tips for picking up the best lingerie for you. Like I said before, to get to the actual tips, go ahead and just check the description box or the show notes to click on the timestamp so that way you can get to exactly what you want. But I have some really interesting stuff to chat about, so I hope that you stick around for the context. And here we go. Hello everyone and welcome to the Lattes and Lingerie podcast. My name is Ella Pierce and today we are finally talking about lingerie. And we're going to cover some of the concepts between what is lingerie, what is not lingerie, what is lingerie for, how do you pick out lingerie, what lingerie is best for my body type. And before we really get into the details, I want to just talk about some of the information that is already available. This is just subjective and other people might hear my advice and think that it's not spot on either. So the good news is that this is all subjective, and if it doesn't seem right for you, then it's not right for you, and that's totally cool. Remember that there is no right or wrong with lingerie and feeling amazing in what you're wearing, so just put that out your head right now. The person in front of you is the way that they have to be. It literally cannot be any other way. You have no control over it, and they have no control over your experience in your body. Your responsibility ends with nurturing your vessel. And in fact, that's your only responsibility at all. Anyone else's health is none of anyone else's concern. Anyone who has a body has a sexy body because everybody is a sexual being. It's the way it is. And at some point, it needs to be rectified that a body cannot be controlled externally. You get to control yours, they get to control theirs. So first on the list, we're going to talk about a YouTube video called What Lingerie Do Men Find Sexy? And it was a part of an Ask Me Anything from a person named Mark. Um, he's just a regular dude. I don't know what he does. I don't. I didn't look very far into his channel. Um, but this was one of the, the top things that showed up with how to pick the best lingerie. And so I thought it would be really interesting to see kind of what 93,000 people thought. And so it was very well received in the comments. However, when he named it when he named it, uh, what lingerie do men find sexy, he attracts people to find the answer to that. And it's kind of buried in the middle of a three question, ask me anything. He did go on to say that, you know, hey, whatever you feel confident is in is what you should be wearing. And um, I think that's honorable. Um, I just have a little bit of like commentary on it. Uh, he, and we all agree that confidence is sexy, but confidence is isn't a tool. It's a result. Saying that the sexiest lingerie that you can wear is the lingerie that you feel confident in is nice language, but it's not very actionable. He did, however, mention some good broad categories like push-up bras, cheekies, you know, thongs. Shockingly, all these things men find pleasing, if you were wondering. Wow. Overall, in finding specific pieces, this is not helpful at all. The next video that I watched was viewed over a million times. And it's called The Guide to All Things Panties and Shapewear. It's actually an organizational video. And so, again, the information is buried inside of this video. And uh, the woman was so classy. It was so cute. I absolutely loved her. 
And she had some really great little quotes in there. She was showing a little, like, matching bra and panty set, and she was like, hey, it's fine for you to have this, and it's appropriate, and it's all good, basically. It was the cutest little classy thing that she ever could say. She also brought up some really practical advice, like you should wear nude for nude... You should wear nude underwear for light-colored clothing so that way it blends in better and and just sizing up with your underwear so that way you're not having skin bulging when you have a tight-fitted piece of clothing like underwear. And so I thought that was really great that she was giving practical advice that way in an organizational video. She also said, very feminine, very sexy, nothing wrong with that, which I absolutely loved that attitude. It was so cute. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, the next one was 10 bra and underwear essentials. These were must-haves, according to this person. And this there, this video also had um, a million views, basically, in a year. And uh, they basically had categories. So her categories were briefs, bikinis, seamless, thongs, and period undies. And then she also had five bras, t-shirt bra, strapless, sports bra, bralettes, which she defined as unlined, unwired, unpadded, and push-up. And I truly think this is a super great list for something functional like building a capsule wardrobe or if you lost weight or gained weight and are starting a collection over or if you just want to be like very prepared for any kind of outfit in your wardrobe, these are great ones to have. But this isn't really lingerie, is it? This is actually underwear. This is serving a purpose. This is why you need different types because they're serving different functions. Whereas with lingerie, it's not really about what it does. It's not really about how it helps accomplish this other task that's not just this for the sake of existing for fun, right? Unfortunately, though, this list is too functional, and we actually need more advice on how to pick th these things. The next one was a personal favorite. It was Bedroom Essentials for Women, Underwear vs. Lingerie, How I Do Things by Capano Shimange. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. But this is actually really fun. It started with a cute little skit. She had some really great advice for people who wanted to impress their partners. Um, however, she did focus a little bit, a little bit more than necessary on the partner aspect, but that's totally fine because that was the message she was trying to get across was about healing a relationship, spicing things up. That's totally cool. But I personally think that lingerie is not about the viewer. It's about the wearer. And so I motion for it to be just a cool side effect if a partner gets turned on by it and less of it being the expected effect. One thing that I really loved about this video was that she talked a lot about how lingerie was about fun and underwear was about function. And so it was like, <laughs> she was so cute. She was like, fun, what fun? What's this strap for? Nothing, it's for fun. Like, what's the point? Fun. Like, I just loved how she kind of repeated that. She really wanted to ingrain it in your mind that this is something fun, and so you should take it so much less seriously than you probably are. And so, and she she was so funny. She had some different categories, too. The bodysuit, quote, something that comes with extras. So she was like, extra straps, extra buckles, extra chains, extra zippers, extra things that don't do anything other than look fun. She was so cute. Um, she talked about peekaboo, like a keyhole... Uh, which is just basically like it has a peekaboo feature for whatever it is. Maybe it's the booty. Maybe it's like for easy access. Maybe it's like cut out um, cups on the like shelf bras that are open. And then she talked about textures. And um, if you were more shy, you could do like an unlined kind of bralette with a robe situation. So she actually had some really good options as far as like what there is out there for actual lingerie as opposed to how to build a, a functional capsule wardrobe with your lingerie. But I, I don't think that one focused really on how to pick it still. I think the problem is how are we picking these? Not We're not just knowing what our options are, but we need to move into actually knowing what we should be picking. <laughs> now on to, to the queen of keywording, the best lingerie for your body shape, lingerie for your body type, how to select right lingerie question mark. This one actually only had 3,600 views in the six months that it's been on the internet. And so um, it, it's kind of sad because that one's actually the most useful um, but it was a very difficult video to watch. It had a variable volume, so it was like really loud at some points, kind of soft at the others. There was a lot of background noise, like honking in a street, which I totally understand happens, but it just was, it was like to the nth degree, and so it made it a little bit difficult to watch, and so I think that's probably why it's lower on the views, but really top-notch in the information. And so um, we'll kind of talk a little bit about what 
what she talked about, she basically was saying, you know, do you have the triangle? Do you have this, the rectangle? Do you have the hourglass body? What is it that you have? And then she had examples of different items that you could put with that kind of a body type. And so this is actually the most useful instead of kind of just like giving you that pandering, like confidence is king pep talk that I know that we all need to hear at least once, but sometimes we really do need practical advice. And so instead of just giving you the pandering, com you know, com commitment to confidence, it actually did have some f practical function. Um, another interesting video and the last one that I'm going to talk about, very succinct. And so the person who was in the video, I'm assuming she was a lingerie store owner or a store owner who had lingerie in her store. And um, she was discussing how to pick out the best lingerie. And I really appreciated that in the two minutes, which was very short, obviously for diminishing attention spans in the 2020s. But aside from it being short and succinct, it was also like as inclusive as it could be in that small amount of time frame. And what I mean by that was that the she actually gave really great, not that this is surprising because she owns the store, I assume, but she actually gave really great advice as far as like, you can't just buy what you want because laundry is not a gift for the person who's giving it if it's a gift. It's for the person who's receiving it, just like every other gift. And so you don't give someone else what you want, you give them what they want. And so she did make sure that she brought the point across that you have to know this person for this to be a successful gift. And just as when you're purchasing it, you have to do it for yourself. You can't just purchase whatever your partner's favorite thing is because you're not going to feel top notch in it. Unless you happen to like the same things, which is possible, but just really be conscientious of that. Well, a lot of these videos had value to them. They just weren't very succinct in how it can help you. You know, a lot of it was kind of fluff pieces about how, you know, if you buy it, just be confident in it. And that's not really what I'm trying to go for here. So today that changes. So what I hope to accomplish with this conversation is to help you locate lingerie that is beautiful, fits you, and makes you confident all while helping you love what you already love and learn to love what you don't already love. And I hope that you and I actually accomplish it and we don't just say it. But before we discuss this next topic, I need you to know, until you take this piece of advice to heart, you will never be ready to find lingerie that makes you hot. And that is that you are making a statement to society by purchasing and wearing lingerie. That sounds dramatic. But by purchasing lingerie, you are putting a vote toward empowering people everywhere who love their bodies and want to share that with the world. And as Kobano said in her video, what is the purpose of lingerie? Fun. Why do we buy it? Fun. What's that strap for? Fun. She also said lingerie is meant to be seen, not work behind the scenes. So what are you going to say in your statement to yourself? You could say things like, I won't find anything that looks good on me. Everything's going to look horrible. I'm fat. I don't think anything is going to be good. Geez, I need to do something about this. Who are you even helping? Stop wasting your time doing this. Start saying, I love myself. I'm amazing. I look so hot in that. I'm sexy as fuck. I'm powerful. I'm unstoppable. My boobs look amazing. Say all these things. Start helping yourself. Start spending time loving your body. Do the actions of loving your body. Start spending your time loving yourself more and you will love yourself more. Now, drum roll, it's time for the three types of lingerie that I personally think, I put them on a spectrum of least to most intense. In the middle, you have racy lingerie. This is kind of what you expect when you think of lingerie. They're usually dark colored, structured, fitted, bras, supportive, corsets, pretty much what you think of when you think of lingerie. And it's in the middle of the intensity scale from super sweet to little, to very devilish. It's usually not over the top. And this is the most humble place for lingerie to be. This is typically the bread and butter of the lingerie industry. Next is sweet lingerie. Usually this is kind of on the sort of softer side of the intensity spectrum. Usually I think of silky stuff or cozy pajamas, or oversized sweaters, things like that. Other cool things to add in are shorty shorts as well as crop tops. And this is super great for beginners and great for looking casual cute. If you have kids, sometimes this is an easy one to pull off in the case of an interruption. Spicy lingerie is on the opposite side of the spectrum. It is way up on the top of the intensity scale. This is unlikely to be seen outside of specialty stores and definitely would never be seen in the JCPenney's catalog. <laughs> They're usually bondage inspired and have a lot of straps or chains or studs or leather or pleather, 
liquid latex, all those kinds of things that give it kind of an edgy kick. It's likely that people who are more shy might think they were just accessories to put on top of other lingerie, but people who are going for that edgy look will wear them separately. Big thumbs up on the harnesses. They can be used either way. So this is another killer option for somebody who wants to go more the racy route, but is looking for a like a kick of badass. You could totally layer on some bondage inspired pieces on top. If you wanna toe the line between sexy and badass, that's where you go. So after you pick the taste of your poison, it's time to pick the poison bottle. And that is the silhouette of what you're actually looking for. This is where it gets complicated. You already know what colors you like. You already kind of know like how edgy you really want to be. But now you have to figure out how to get that message across. And this is kind of where everybody else's advice dropped off. They all had advice as far as how to feel once you were already there. But they didn't really tell you what to do. So, so we're going to get into figuring out what is going to make you look awesome. Tone down what you don't care for play up what you actually love about yourself. If you would like your own cheat sheet for this, all you gotta do is go down to the description box of the show notes and click the resource page. That will bring you to your own little savable. Savable what? It'll bring you to your own little savable version that you can keep with you for when you do go shop. It's totally free, you don't even have to put an email in, just go there, save the photo. One final reminder, this is not about your significant other. If you have one, this is about you. Okay, let's get to it. So for each body part, if you are trying to show it off, that'll be the first bit. If you are trying to not show it off, that'll be the second. So we're going to talk first about legs. Do you want to show off your legs? If you do want to show off your legs, you can opt for high-waisted bottoms as well as high leg cuts. Pair it with some nude pumps. Other great accessories to show off your legs are tights as well as sock, fun socks and garter belts or garter cuffs. If you don't want to show off your legs, consider a full length tight, a thigh high, or illusion thigh highs in full size stockings. Those are super cool. I also recommend if you are going to do thigh high socks and you have thicker thighs that cause rolling, definitely get some garter, get a garter belt, it'll keep them up. Obviously showing off your arms is super easy with lingerie, uh, but we're just going to go over a couple ways to accentuate them since that's some people's favorite thing about themselves. Good ways to do that are with bangles or other jewelry, especially cuffs. If you have the ability to wear an upper, an upper arm cuff, I think those are so sexy. I love them so much. That's a great way to do it. Of course, there are countless sleeveless and strapless and blah, 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 all kinds of different lingerie types for bearing the shoulders and the arms. Uh, however, another one that I thought was really interesting and a little bit unintuitive is long gloves. You don't want to wear long gloves if you are trying to avoid your arms because it's going to create an actual stopping point at your arm, which you want to avoid. If you are trying to show off your arms, long gloves would be a great way to do that. If you want to minimize the appearance of your arms, it can be a little bit trickier at first glance because you think, oh, lingerie must be skimpy, but actually long sleeve bodysuits are totally where it's at for somebody who wants to minimize the presence of their arms. Other great options are robes, men's dress shirts, jerseys, especially hockey jerseys because they're long sleeved, and just cardigans. Like cardigans, like you do this, some of this like over the shoulder kind of stuff. It gets hot, totally hot. Okay, moving on. Showing off the chest seems to be like everybody's MO. Great things to try are corsets or other types of structured bras including the ones that come inside of bodysuits. Definitely don't skimp on the push-up bra. This is a great way to accentuate. Another way, great way to do this is to check out separate bandage style necklaces. They're kind of like harnesses, but they're made of just elastic and they're black. I get tons of compliments on the one that I have. Also, if you are bustier, sometimes a good fitting sports bra can create hella cleavage. So whatever works better for you, just experiment just so that way you are feeling mostly supported. This is definitely the most supportive type of lingerie that I'm suggesting here. So the more you want to accentuate them, make sure they're like whole, you know, held up and, and comfortable. If you don't want to show off your chest, try things like bralettes, which again are unwire, unpadded, unlined, halter tops, oversized sweaters, and you could even add a statement necklace to kind of bring the attention up higher to your face and neck instead of down here with, you know, glitzy bustiers. Do like a glitzy necklace and something very casual underneath. Another body part that is actually harder to accentuate than it is to minimize is the back. If you really love your back and you want to show it off, here are some things that you can do to kind of accentuate it. Try things out like long body chains. Obviously, two-piece sets work really great for this. 
and try to find a sheer or a strappy back chemise. And if you're taking photos, then consider some long strands of pearls, but worn backwards. If you're looking for more of a full coverage situation of your back, try things like corsets, anything lace-backed, robes, men's dress shirts again, cardigans again, and jerseys, any kind this time. So save the best two for last. This is what everybody wants to know when they come to see me as their boudoir photographer. They wanna know how can I show off my booty or how can I hide that I don't really have a booty and especially how can I hide my tummy. Let's get into the last two here and then we'll kind of wrap it up. So let's say that you wanna show off your booty if that is the case, then typical options are garter belts, which are almost good for everything. Any chemise, especially ones that are split back or any cheeky cut underwear like thongs or the hipster style. Peekaboo briefs are also really uh, attractive with the keyholes in the back and really any embellishment on the underwear, like whether it has ruffles or zippers or chains, fringe. I love fringe. That's cute. I love fringe. It's so cute. I just love it so much. Then those kinds of things are going to draw attention to the booty, right? However, if you do not want people to look while you are receiving your spankings, then try things like Daisy Dukes, boy shorts, uh, silky PJ sets, or skirt types. These are all great options. And of course, the most common is how do I cover up my tummy or less like, less common, but still less common, but still important to acknowledge is how can I show off my abs or how can I show off my stomach or my stretch marks or whatever it is that I want to accentuate in my center section. Clearly, if you're looking to show off your center section, you can definitely wear a two piece. Matching tops and bottoms are always super on, is are always super on trend. And of course, like most lingerie sets expect you to want to show this off. So it's pretty easy to pick one out. You can't really mess this part up. However, if you want to bring more attention to it, totally add body chains, any cute, any cute crop tops. These kinds of things are always really great. Ribbed tanks, easy to pull up if you're taking photos or pull down for more cleavage. They're really versatile. So these kinds of things can be, a lot of these can be used for, to try to accentuate a center, a center section. If you're looking for full coverage in the tummy area, you should totally check out corsets, rompers, PJ sets, waspies, highly recommend waspies. I think they're so hot. I love them so much. And, and robes. Another great way is to uh, draw the attention away from the center by having glitzy, a glitzy bustier or, you know, headpiece and doing like matching, maybe not matchy matchy, but like coordinating heels with some glitz, stuff like that. That's definitely going to draw the attention away and put the attention on something that you want to show off, which is something else that you picked from this video, right? Here are a few places that you can check out if you are flush with cash. And you can check out Asia Provocateur, Floor of England, Bordel, Fräulein Clay. Fräulein Kink, but if you are not and you don't want to tangle up your sheets with a bunch of cash, there are some awesome varieties at Yandy, Adore Me, Shein, Hips and Curves, Lonely, and Blue Bella. Amazon also has essentially an endless supply, so if you're willing to go that route, you can totally check that out. Um, but places that aren't so good to get lingerie are like your typical department stores. Usually they're very focused on underwear with the function instead of the fun. And so you might spend a lot of time looking at those places and not really finding that much. And if you are looking to do this for a boudoir shoot, I do want to kind of interject here. Everything that's a good idea wasn't listed in the list. So if you're having a boudoir shoot, consider these other really awesome opportunities to sex up a wardrobe on the fly and also for the Jeep. And that is things like blankets, again, oversized sweaters, very common, Daisy Dukes and oversized clothing in general, like men's dress shirts or ribbed tanks, as well as sentimental tees, scarves, crop tops, swim covers, cosplays if that's your thing. And check out the blog that I listed below for more information about choosing a wardrobe, as well as the wardrobe guide, which I'll also link below, which has a lot of inspiration and figure out what it is that is going to work best for you. And remember that laundry is supposed to be fun. Be compassionate with yourself while you're shopping for it. Be compassionate with yourself while you're looking through all the resources that I've listed below. And my final advice is don't rush this. You don't need things that don't tick all the boxes. So don't settle. You shouldn't keep things that you don't love ever. And you certainly shouldn't keep lingerie that you don't love ever. You deserve a sexy wardrobe that makes you feel like a septillion 
bucks. Remember to check out all of the resources in the description box below, including your own cheat sheet for picking the best lingerie for you. And if you would like more information about having a boudoir session with Cherry Tree Boudoir, just click the link down below to get your own expose. Anybody who signs up for an expose in January of 2021 before the 31st will receive 200 extra dollars in print credits for any shoot that they have during 2021. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, find me on Instagram, which is also linked below. During the month of January, we're doing daily tarot card poll. And for good measure, you can also check out the Cherry Tree Instagram. And if you're watching on YouTube, YouTube thinks that you're going to like this video. Of course, the other one is other videos in the Lattes and Lingerie podcast playlist for your binging pleasure. And without further ado, later, Gator.